YouTube, how's it going? Well, not doing too bad here. Kind of on the really freaking hot side outside. But of course, that would be the reason why I pretty much never go outside. <laughs> Solves that problem right there. And if it does get warm, uh, the house has air conditioning and I have a ceiling fan. Awesome. So that's that. Uh, let's see, first thing to mention is a couple of days ago, new episode of Hermitcraft up. I really need to get into the habit of uh, doing a vlog the very day that I do a new episode of Hermitcraft or anything else so that there's a video on this channel announcing that fact. I think that would be a good idea. Actually, I know it's a good idea. and I've been thinking that for months now. or probably longer, and uh, I'm only just now getting around to actually doing it. Yeah, procrastination is a thing. Uh, anyway, I was uh, reading some fan fiction, which I do a lot of, and uh, I ran across something that's, it, it kind of bugs me. And so I thought I'd just throw this out there for fan fiction authors. Uh, well, authors who write Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan fiction. And that is, her name is not, never has been, and never will be, Elizabeth. I don't know how many uh, writers that have done that and I have sit there reading the story. In other ways, perfectly great story, but every time I see her called Elizabeth, it makes me want to growl because her name is not Elizabeth. Her name is Buffy Ann Summers. And of course, now the response is, who names their kid Buffy? Well, think about it. Southern California. Her mother grew up in the 60s and 70s. Joyce Summers names her kid Buffy. Maybe she was into all those uh, beach movies and you know, the teenage angst beach movies and stuff like that. Maybe she was really into that. And then again, of course, Southern California. She grew up in Southern California. You know, having a kid named Buffy is not exactly what you would call out of the ordinary or unexpected. It doesn't surprise me at all. And uh, for further evidence in that direction. Uh, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer wiki lists her name as Buffy Ann Summers. And if you look for it, you find a, uh, a screen capture from uh, a season five episode where she died and they buried her. And the headstone on it says Buffy Ann Summers. Yeah. So, Elizabeth Summers, no such critter. And I know, I've already given that probably more airtime than it deserves. I don't care. It's been under my skin for quite a while now, and I decided to finally say something about it. In other news, I may actually start reviewing and recommending in those videos an occasional fan fiction. I've run into some really good ones and maybe I should share starting next video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.